Hi everybody, I wanted to go over a quick review of finding the vertex of a parabola. We'll start with the definition. Notice I will kind of go back and forth between a quadratic function and parabola, but they mean the same thing. So a quadratic function can be written in the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. When a is greater than zero, f of x is going to open up and it's going to have a minimum. So quadratics look like a u. What the vertex is, is this like bottom place. So when a is positive, it opens up and you can see there is a minimum. So I'm just going to write min. When a is less than zero, so if I have a negative number, f of x is going to open down. So I have this upside down u. And then this vertex is going to be a maximum. So here's what we want to do today is just figure out where is that min, where is that max. But the first thing we notice is how do I know what do I have? It's by a. So positive up, minimum, negative down, maximum. I wouldn't memorize that. I would draw a little picture. Finding the vertex of a parabola, we have a shortcut. So given f of x is ax squared plus bx plus c, the vertex happens at negative b over 2a, f of negative b over 2a. It looks bad, it's not bad. Basically, you're looking at the negative b over 2a. It's going to give you a number, whatever number it gives you, plug it back into the function, and then you'll get the y coordinate, because we do want to get a point when we're looking for the vertex. So let's try a few examples. The first one says f of x is 2x squared minus 12x plus 4. First thing I see is 2. 2 is positive. That says it's going to open up, and I'm going to have a minimum when I find the vertex. The first number, which is in front of the x squared, that's a. The negative 12, that represents b. 4 is c, but notice that's not part of our formula. I have negative b over 2a. So I have negative. b is negative 12, so I want to write negative 12 in parentheses. I don't want you to lose that negative sign that came from the b. And then I have 2a. a was 2. To keep things easy when we find the value, I'm going to do negative. Negative is positive, which is 12. 2 times 2 is 4. 12 over 4 is 3. You don't need your calculator for that. It's actually more complicated if you grab your calculator. Where I will grab the calculator, though, is to find the y value, because I need to plug this 3 back into the function. So you could do it the long way. You could plug it in right here, 2 times 3 squared minus 12 times 3 plus 4. Um, I am tend to be a little we'll call it lazy, and I'm going to let um, Desmos do that for me. So Desmos, I'm going to put in my function f of x equals 2x squared minus 12x plus 4, and notice that I did put this in as f of x. That's important. I want, didn't want to do y equals. I want to do f of x equals. That way I can make it evaluate by going f of 3, and it tells me that the y value is negative 14. I also want to show you over on the graph, if I kind of zoom in a little so you can see it, I'm just going to click on the graph and it immediately pops up the minimum. So I can see down here it says 3, negative 14. So you could have gone that way too. I find you kind of need to be able to use the calculator to do it though because sometimes the numbers aren't going to be integers like the 3. Um, so we don't want to have a decimal. We want to be able to have either a rational number or an integer to put in as our answer. So here we have 3, negative 14 as our vertex. So let's say this is negative 14. So we have our vertex. 3, negative 14, and again, I will say this was a minimum. We should do this a couple more times. So here's another one. f of x is negative 1 fifth of x squared plus 3x minus 2. Okay, this time the negative 1 fifth in front of the x squared, that's negative. It says it's opening down. Down says there's a max. Again, we're starting with negative b over 2a. Negative 1 fifth is a. 3 is b. Negative 2 is c. Negative b, I have negative 3 over 2 times a was negative 1 fifth. So negative 3, I'm just going to write this as negative 2 over 5. Negative, negative is positive, if that helps you. Um, we could do it the like, algebra way, where you divide by 2 fifths, so you flip, it's 5 over 2. I get 15 over 2. I'll also show you how to put this into the calculator, and we do want to go back and then figure out what is f of 15 over 2. So you know what we're doing, we're headed to Desmos, we'll figure this out over there. Let's start by looking at having Desmos do the vertex. So we had negative 3 divided by negative 2 divided by 5. 
So you can see it says 7.5. You can click this box over box, which says make it a fraction. There's the 15 over 2 that we had. Then I'm going to enter the function. So I had f of x equals negative 1 fifth of x squared plus 3x minus 2. Okay, so now I can see the function. We're going to do f of 15 over 2. It says 9.25. If you want to make that a fraction, you just click that little box over box. It says 37 over 4. I can see the parabola over on the right. Again, I'm just going to click, and I could have clicked anywhere. It's still going to give me that same thing. It says 7.5, 9.25. Remember, that's what we got. So that's a nice verification that you've got the right thing, but I am going to put it over on our paper as 37 over 4. This one's an application. So it says the revenue for selling a closed dryer can be modeled by the function R of P is negative 4P squared plus 4,000P. And we want to know what price maximizes the revenue. Now this time, what we're maximizing, this P instead of the X that we usually have, doesn't make any difference. We're going to treat it the same way. We're still going to do negative B over 2A. So the B is 4,000, so I have negative 4,000 over 2 times a, a was negative 4, I have negative 4,000 over negative 8, negative negative is a positive, and I get 500. We've answered the question, that's all it asks for with the price, this price 500, that is our maximum. Let me point out this was negative, so we knew we were maximizing because it was upside down. If we wanted to know what is the highest revenue that we're going to have, then we could go back and plug this in so we could do r of 500 and this time since i've used desmo so much i'll just show you what we really are doing we'll put it this way i have negative 4 times 500 squared plus 4000 times 500 so if you don't want to use desmos you can just do it in the regular calculator and i got a million this says if you sell the closed dryers for $500 a piece, you're going to make a million dollars in revenue, and that's the maximum you can make. Hope that helps. Just a quick little review to get you going with parabolas.